You know, it's natural for all of us to want approval. Raise your hand if you want approval. I, I like approval. I, I like people liking me. I hope you do too. <laughs> I hope you do too. In fact, it's a natural, normal thing to have that. We are created to be in community. And part of being around other people is to have some level of, of affirmation. So affirmation isn't inherently bad. It's just, am I living for others' affirmation or am I living under God's affirmation and approval? And this through line of adoption where God comes and takes abandoned orphans and pulls them into his family and treasures them is throughout the whole Bible. Here's one example from the book of Ephesians chapter one. It says this, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will. There's a moment when this, when this happens in our life because our default mode is to be on our own, to be away from God and to be doing anything we can to make ourselves feel better, separate of God or finding a God that tells us what we want to be told and not changing our lives. This is the normal way that it operates. Where abandoned orphans perform for approval, treasured children perform from approval. Orphans, they accomplish in order to be validated. Treasured children say, no, no, God validates me. He tells me he loves me. And therefore, I go accomplishment, accomplish. I'm just trying to cement in you right now that if you're a treasured child, because God came after you, because you are important, because he chose you. He chose you. Do you feel that important? God says certain things to all treasured children. And these things I say right now are not my personal opinion. These things I say right now are woven throughout the entire Bible. It's the immortalization and the immutability of his words that he's cemented in print so that we can know his character, know what he says to us. Some of us have struggled with this last three weeks because the idea of a father who approves is hard for you because you do not have a frame of reference with an earthly father at all. And your heavenly father would say to you, child, I cemented in Psalm 68, five that I'm a father to a fatherless. Some of us have a hard time receiving this because we've got stuff in our background, things that we've done, things that we didn't do that we should have done. Your heavenly Father says to you in Romans 8, chapter 1, anybody who is in Christ Jesus, you are new. And if you are in Christ, there is therefore now no condemnation for anybody who has Jesus in them. There is therefore now no condemnation for anybody who is in the family of God. Jesus, God does not condemn you. Your heavenly Father looks at you as a treasured child and he said, I will never come to you and condemn you. I will never smack you down. There is not a day of reckoning that's coming. I already handled that with Jesus on the cross. His riches in your account, you need to walk in the boldness that you are approved of. Not approved, but no, you are approved of. It's not because of your performance. You are holy because of Jesus' performance on your behalf and His Spirit fills us. When God looks to you as a treasured child, He looks at what's inside of you and it's not your actions. It's the very Spirit of God. He says, that's a holy one. In fact, he chose you even before this world was created. That's how big He is and how important you are. Until you receive how important you are, you're going to try to find it from some other place. Here's so important to you that He was personally involved in knitting you together in your mother's womb. You are a treasured child of the Most High God who has never been forgotten, who will not be forgotten, and who is simply loved and affirmed well done because of who you are and who God says you are. You are not known as a college graduate. You are not known as a high school dropout. You are not known as an addict to him, as right wing, as left wing, as an American consumer. You are not known as these things. You are known as a son, as a daughter of God. And oh, how he loves you. How he, how he loves you.